Quit moving around so much, bobblehead. When are we gonna get another case, Sam? Surely the local lawbreakers must miss our esoteric brand of personalized criminal justice. Patience is a sharp razor to swallow, little buddy. Okay, don't scream this time. <gasps> ah, I got it! I got it! Hello? Leave Swiss cheese by the rat hole, or you'll never see your precious phone alive again. Jiminy Christmas Eve in a padlock sweat box. Some misguidedly ballsy felons napped our phone. Eerie. I just went cheese shopping. How did they know? Be sure it's Swiss cheese, right? And be quick about it. Ordinarily, I hate yielding to extortion, but I have to admit I'm half charmed by the sheer spunk of that oily little perp. Where'd you put the cheese, Max? Gosh, it was hours ago. You know I have the memory of a dried trout. Sadly, yes I do. Well, it's gotta be somewhere in this room. I think Hubert could use some water, Max. I'm training him to fetch it himself. They say graffiti is the poetry of our time. Just what we need. More lame poetry. Last month's donuts. Don't throw that out. I'm saving it for a science experiment. You bet, little buddy. This might come in handy. <laughs> Don't do that again. Nobody ever leaves us messages anymore. No dice. Remember our motorcycle trip through the Midwest? Just you, me, and the authorities from seven states. But those were quieter times. Remember our trip to the moon, Max? Like cottage cheese through a strainer, Sam. You continue to baffle me, little pal. One of these days we're gonna finish that game. I'm still working on getting the rest of the darts from the police impound. Hey, Max. When is it, Sam? You sure you don't remember where you put that cheese, little buddy? Sheesh, you'd think I'd forgotten my pants or something. It's here in the office someplace. Who do you think that was on the phone? Ooh, maybe it was the governor calling about my plan to secede from the Union. I wish we hadn't missed that call. It might have been the commissioner calling with a case. Yeah, hey, or maybe it was the president about my idea to do daylight savings time in five minute increments. Oh, I feel so all alone Because some crook has swiped my phone Rodent or rodents unknown Where's my banjo, Max? I've hidden it for the good of society. Does it feel drafty in here to you? Hey, you're the one with clothes on. Do you ever wonder what life would be like if we were bugs? Sure, I hope. Although I've always wanted to have more arms. Some days I can feel the atmosphere pushing on my head like a giant thumb. Some days I hide weights in your hat to see if you'll notice. Let's get to work. I couldn't agree more! Hello, Mr. Spatula. How's the weather in there? Where's the rest of the news collection, Max? It's a surprise! Last month's donuts. Don't throw that out. I'm saving it for a science experiment. You bet, little buddy. Let me just fiddle with the reception here. Put it back, Sam. Put it back. There. That fixed it. Life troubling your digestion? Reality blocking your passages? Expel your troubles with emetics. The handbook for multicolored happiness and separate your bliss. Hey, that's that personal color spectrum book. Self-help for the helplessly selfish. Perfect. I'll take two. I bought that VCR at the supermarket. So you know it's a good one. Still smells like asparagus, though. 2002 was a great year for calendars. I'm glad we stocked up. We've been going through them at a rate of about one a year since then. Tempting sometimes, but I've become fond of the little guy. Hmm. 
No comment. Someone once told me that the contents of a lava lamp make an excellent hand cream. That was me! Which is why I haven't tried it. Twenty years worth of electric bills take up a surprising amount of space. Max, you ever hear of the term tough love? It's the only kind of love I know! Ah, yes, I remember that case. Particularly gruesome. Good old Lou. Who's Lou again? The bowling ball, of course. When I got this thing, I thought it would be useful. Where else would we keep the pieces of paper that we're never gonna look at again? Yoo-hoo! Tiny hoodlums! Leave the cheese by the hole! We should have Jesse James's hand appraised one of these days. I bet it's especially valuable because it's autographed. Aha! Oh, there it is! Unfortunately, this is not Swiss cheese. So what? So, the rat was very specific about wanting Swiss cheese in particular. Take that, you law-breaking dairy products! Sam, no! The cheese was innocent! Innocent? I think not. Voila! Swiss cheese! Or close enough to fool the casual observer, anyway. Don't say voila! Nah. Greetings! The members of the Benevolent Brotherhood of Vermin would like to thank you for your offering. The members of Sam and Max would like their phone back now. If you don't mind. I regret to inform you the situation has changed, and I am unable to comply with your request. A list of additional demands for the return of the phone is as follows. Now, let's discuss this calmly. Let's debone the smarmy little skis and see if the phone's in there. I ain't talking, coppers. Jimmy Two Teeth ain't no rat. Uh, well, I ain't talking. We've met your demands. We got you the cheese. Any honorable rodent would hold up his end of the bargain and give back our phone. Us rodents is not known for being particularly honorable. I'm about ready to wring your scrawny, trash-eating neck. You think you're scary? You don't know where his hands have been. Or when I last washed them. Who cares? I'm a rat, remember? A dog face. Your partner's giving me a headache. We'll go half easy on you if you'll just cough up the phone. Yeah, yeah. Never happened, pig. Hand over the phone or I'll make you lick my German-crusted palms. Yeah, yeah. I've licked worse. Like what? You don't even want to know. Can I go now? Help me help you, Jimmy. What the heck is that supposed to mean? I have no idea, but it always sounds good on TV. I'm thinking about stuffing a light bulb down your throat, Perk. Go ahead. I've been a little hungry, amateurs. Maybe I'll lock you in our file cabinet. So? In three separate drawers. You bore me. A hey, dog face. Your partner's giving me a headache. Maybe you'd like it if we played you some music. How about Cat Stevens? Fine. Jimmy Two Teeth ain't afraid of no cats. Can I go now? Let me pry open his skull and look for a conscience, Sam. Yeah, yeah. I'm shaking like bacon here, amateurs. You mentioned a headache. Would you like some aspirin? Oh, and while I'm at it, is there anything else I can do to make you comfortable? Are you thirsty, perhaps? Lights too bright? Well, that's sporting of you. Now you mention it, I really don't like being up here so high. I got me a thing about heights. They make me nervous, you know? Oh, really? Don't like heights, eh? How'd you like it if I dangled your greasy hide out the window? Hey, you wouldn't. Wait, 
I warn you, I'm known for my fuzzy white butterfingers. It's true. You should see him trying to tie an ascot. All right, all right. Have mercy. I've had mercy. It was unpleasantly gooey, like, well, like things that have fallen onto pavement from a great height. I give up. Take your phone and let me go. Ah, oh, for the love of... I wish I could unsee that. Hello. Yes? Great gouts of steaming magma on a beeline for the orphanage. We're on our way. Yeah! Ow! Where's the rat? I let him go. Who was on the phone? It was a commissioner, Max. Multiple reports of malfeasance in the neighborhood. Oh, joy! That's my second favorite feasance! Idiot. We've got to get down to the corner store right away. He does look a little like a bowling pin, doesn't he? I once hid in that dumpster to escape a rampaging gorilla. I still don't know how she got out of the office. I was sure I locked the door. Say there, unfashionably dressed street urchin. Oh, you made me mess up. Now I have to start all over. Yowzers, you are one ugly kid. Hey, I know you. Oh, that's right. You're one of the lovable scamps from that old TV show about the singing soda jerks. It's called the Soda Poppers, and the 70s are not old. Specs, it's you! Wow, an actual celebrity vandalizing our neighborhood. This is great! Boy, you sure were a famous, oddly underdeveloped teen celebrity at one time. I'm still famous. Are you? Um, like a million point one times more famous than you. Well, we're really more known in the 18 to 34 year old repeat criminal demographic. Say, how about an autograph for my pal? You can sign my butt! Make it out to Squinky! I don't sign butts anymore. People get ticklish and they move and it gets all messed up. I'll risk it. Sorry, I can't stop painting. This has to be perfect. What was that catchphrase you used to say on your show? It was like, you messed me up, or something like that. Huh. You made me mess up, which you just did. Thanks a lot. Oh, yeah. So, Specs, what are you up to these days? Any new projects? Yes, I have a new light in my life, and his name is Brady Culture. He's the genius behind the Ibo Ocular Fitness Program. You really should try one of his videos. Ibo sounds like an electronic archery toy. Ibo is the truly visionary ocular fitness program. Try the video today. Where can I find a copy of the video? They carry them over at Bosco's. You should get it. Sounds fascinating, but enough about that. You can never get enough of Brady Culture's Ibo. Didn't I see you on an episode of Celebrity Slap Fight? I was desperate. I was heavy into three ring binders at the time and I needed the money. You got your clock cleaned by that lady from Old and in the Way. Never saw that walker coming. <laughs>